Market rumours and social media, as I say, these weren't issues for me when I was working at the ASX six years ago, uh, but they are now. And obviously sites like um, Twitter and, and Facebook and chat sites and blog sites, there, there is such a diverse channel through which this media comes and there's people writing about stocks all the time. Um, you do need to keep at least a, a, an eye on the main ones, particularly, in the, and the timing for it is, if you've got a, if you've got a market sensitive announcement you're gonna make shortly because you're negotiating a big transaction or you're talking to someone about potential takeover of your business or making a takeover for someone else, you need to be keeping an eye on these um, social media sites or have someone do it for you, outsource, outsource it and have someone do it for you and actually deliver you the information every day. Because once the information starts to get out, it moves really quickly. And if it starts to kind of proliferate the market, what do you want to, well, you want to make sure you're controlling the story, not someone else. So particularly be mindful of it when, there, when there's a pending market sensitive announcement or you're close to finalising a market sensitive transaction. So if you're negotiating the last few points on a major, major acquisition or sale, keep an eye on it because you might need to jump on it. You might need to order a trading halt um, to make sure the market doesn't start to run. Here's what ASX says about it. They say if there's a, where there's a report or a rumour which is wholly accurate, so they, they'll probably come to you and say, look, we've come across this story. It looks pretty credible to us. Uh, is it? And if the answer is yes, then you'll need to confirm it because you, you want it to come from the company. You don't want it to be someone else telling your story. Um, and they'll ask you to confirm it. If it's partially accurate, ASX is likely to ask you to, get, to put out an announcement correcting it or clarifying it. So if someone's got half the story right, then you're going to tell the market that they have got half the story right, there's more to it, watch this space, or you might need to provide a bit more information. Where it's wholly inaccurate, probably it makes sense for ASX to say to you, okay, you need to deny it, you just don't want the market running off the back of some completely bogus story. If it looks ridiculous and the market's not moving, obviously not expecting you to answer um, any, every rumour, but if it looks credible and it actually fits your story and it fits your model, then it's probably something you're going to need to say something about. Because the last thing you want is price running the wrong way off the back of some you know, credible but wrong story about your company. 